Irfan, uh, you made a very comfortable draw with the black pieces today against Levon Aronian. Can you take us through the game? Well, the, today the opening was very interesting. I picked this B6 line, which is not so very popular, but there, there, there were still a lot of games we're playing. And I thought my opponent did some very interesting options, but uh, not successfully because I thought my position after H6, Bishop F6, Bishop F6 should at least be fine. But of course, I was hoping for more um, because it looks very attractive, either to get his isolated pawn C3 or trying to get a pair of bishop. But normally the previous one is even I don't know, could help for something, but I thought later on he did very good with the precise moves like e take f3, f4, trying to um, uh, kind of stuck my knight because if I, my knight put on c5, somehow the position is quite stabilized. And I decided to go for f6, trying to uh, clarify the position and make use of this, but somehow queen c4 doesn't work out because of bishop f1. So I didn't really see something to really improve my position during the game. Okay, later on it was just like like you call end game. Well, this line which you played with b6 uh, has been played by Ivan Bukaushin in the past and uh, White's most uh, critical approach is knight e5. Uh, but Levon played rook d1. Uh, do you think that was uh, an ambitious try? Well, I thought it's uh, it's reasonable because of of course knight e5 is the more critical line, but uh, uh, I believe that uh, both of the players might have something. And also in Levon's games, actually he played one blitz game with the uh, line bishop g5. So probably this time he decided to just, just try something new and trying to get a real game. But somehow I thought when black successfully plays c5, and with this uh, good calculation should be okay. And yesterday's game, uh, you had some chances to continue the play with bishop into h6. What was going on through your mind at that point? Well, of course, bishop h6 continues the game, but uh, okay, I also checked a bit after the game, but it's not so clear because uh, um, take on h6 and take on d5 bishop f4 this line right and the queen yes. c5 somehow not so clear but of course during the game i didn't see it clearly and it seems like my opponent is still in his home preparation i'm not sure but could be so that's why i decided just to make i mean to have a draw yeah we were thinking that uh, uh, levon was somehow trying to bluff because it seemed like white had a good position but he was playing fast and uh, did you feel the same? Well, not clear because anyway, it's not an easy, not an easy position. Even according to the engine, it should be okay with accurate. Like okay, I didn't check uh, very deeply, just uh, briefly looking. So it could be both cases, but uh, this line, I mean, this Italian, this variation has been very, very popular recently. So I thought that both cases are possible. And in the first round, you beat a very strong Polish player. Uh, Pyron Kakfer and uh, now you have two draws with Levon Aronian. Uh, are you happy with your play in this tournament? Yeah, generally I'm kind of satisfied with my performance so far, although um, still there's, there were some inaccurate moves, but at least they were not like blunders or big mistakes. So now I am just um, need to change my mode and to be ready for the rapid play. This will be my first tiebreak this time, but if Kak if considering the previous time breaks I've been played, that was actually quite a lot. But definitely, uh, Lemon is a great chess player, so I just hope for more interesting games and a real fight. And is this your first time in Tbilisi? Um, in Tbilisi, yes. And in Georgia, the second time I was playing here, the Women's Grand Prix back to 2014. But this time, the first time in the capital city. And uh, how do you find the organization and the conditions over here? Yeah, it was uh, really well organized, organized here. We're playing under very good conditions, whatever the playing venue or the accommodations. And uh, also the location, I thought it's good for chess players, although it's not like in the city center, but it helped us. Okay, help the most of the players to be fully concentrated on their games. And here I also see every day there are some spectators who are following our games in the venue. I thought it's also, it was also very good to promote chess in general, although nowadays they're very advanced live online where thousands of the 
participants were following, but we still need you know more people to be here because it makes like makes people feeling like a real sport. Sure. And what are your next tournaments that you would play after the World Cup? Well, there were there is the uh, men in the schedule. Mainly, I will be play there, which will start like the second half of the September, and after that there's nothing really planned so probably i'll take some rest but still if there are any there's any interesting chess tournaments or the activities i'm always glad to search for the chance and, and to be joined so thank you ifan and we wish you all the best for the tie breaks tomorrow thank you very much <laughs>